Welcome back to uh, Atlanta SEC Media Days, and what a pleasure to welcome in the national championship coach, Kirby Smart, who joins us from the Georgia Bulldogs. Kirby, how are you? Doing great, guys. I'm excited to be here and closing this thing out, man. You're one of my last two stops. So, you know, <laughs> I'm starting to see that light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, hey, look, uh, we talked to your players. They're fantastic. And they were very clear to us that last year's last year. I get it. And, and I can tell that's the theme, sure. as it should be. But last year had to be so cool. Just, just give me 30 seconds on what it meant to you. The, it's your school, man. It's, it had to be unbelievable. Oh, it, it wouldn't be as unbelievable if we had just done it. You know, it's the fact yeah. that it had been 40, 41 years or whatever it was. So it was special for a lot of people, and it meant a lot to a lot of loyal dog fans and supporters that meant so much. And that's, that's the pride I take in it is if those kids that were on that team will have that memory and that legacy they've created. No one can ever take that away from them. And that's why we coach, to create memories, to impact young people, and that was what we did last year. And, Kirk, then, and then, part of, me, but then part of that is now the challenge yep. is that, I mean, Georgia didn't just show up as a good team last year. You've been one of the three or four elite teams for a number of years. But you did win it. Right. Now everybody talks about that, and that's a little bit of a target, right? Sure, it's a target. But for us, we, we've been the target anyway. You just said, I mean, we were one of the top teams in the country. So we went into every game the target. I don't think that's going to change. We're not going to change how we do things because we won a national championship. What we're going to do is find out who the weapons are on our team. How can we use them? Um, how can we beat each opponent? Where do we find strengths and weaknesses in their roster that we can take advantage of? And I, I'm a lot more uh, – process driven in terms of what we do i was going to do the same thing this offseason whether we won or lost that game now the commentary changes yeah. and the, the 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 perspective of our players changes but what we do doesn't change kirby i always thought that the greatest thing nick has done is that he's convinced players that the gold you had on top of that mountain that you got mm-hmm. the gold this year is even better right. and you were part of that for nine years mm-hmm. how do you do that with your with your team this year how do you tell those guys look it was great i'm telling you it's going to be even better now I think you do it by how you work and how you approach it. You know, the, the mental side of that is everything. Because, I mean, they're going to lift and run and, and condition. They're going to do all those things regardless of whether they won or lost. I think it's the mental part of, you know, how have the mighty fallen? What has, deter- what has deterred teams from repeating? What has hurt teams from being successful in, in years after? What, what, what is the recipe? Like, how do we make ourselves different? And uh, our guys have embraced that. Now, whether or not we can do it on the field, that's what the season's for. Kirby Smart, the Georgia football coach, is with us. You are such a good recruiter that there's always a five-star that's going to beat out Stetson Bennett. They're here and there, and they're always going to beat him out. That son of a gun. It must be great coaching him. What's he like? How has he managed to become the player he has? Well, he's got a tremendous experience. I mean, when you're talking about a sixth year, a seventh year guy, however many years it's been, it's hard to beat out a guy that's played that much football. I mean, it really is. And he's a playmaker. He buys time. He makes good decisions. Um, he's got good players around him. So uh, he, it excites me to see what he can do when he has the confidence of the other offensive players. And it's not that he didn't last year. He just wasn't the guy until you know halfway through the season. Now he's starting out the season the guy. He seems to me, Kirby, and I'm in Jacksonville, man. I followed it forever. He seems to be a perfect Georgia quarterback. Buck and I are buddies. Lastinger and I are buddies. I know all these guys. He's a perfect Georgia quarterback. Do I mean, you agree with that? I mean, oh, he is. He's different in his own right. You yeah. know, those guys were probably bigger than him, but yeah. he throws the ball really well. He's, uh, uh, he, he, I mean, Stetson can spin the ball, and I don't yeah. think people give enough credit for that. They think he's like some kind of game manager. He's a good athlete, and he yeah. can spin the ball, and he can throw it deep, and he's smart. And that's big in our offense is understanding the system. Kirby, you've made it very clear how much you value home game recruiting weekends, and it's important for you, and, and it's a competitive disadvantage for you guys to have only three what are your thoughts on the future of the game in Jacksonville? Well, I think, first off, that's a president and a athletic director decision that we all sit down and have input on. And I certainly have my beliefs that recruiting is the lifeblood of your program. And every opportunity, you lose a chance to recruit. I mean, it would be like me saying, okay, in June, there's four weekends you can have prospects on campus. In Georgia, you can only have three. That's what it's like. Right. And I'm, I'm self-sanctioning myself an opportunity to have the best prospects in the country fly into Atlanta and drive over every other year to see Florida play Georgia. And I don't know that people understand the value of that. They don't respect it, especially probably people in Jacksonville. That, that I understand it. I get it. It's a traditional game. I played there. I grew up in South Georgia. I got a lot of friends that got houses all around that area that want that game to stay. But at the end of the day, I have to do and have to make decisions based on what's best for the University of Georgia. And I love the tradition of it. But it's going to be interesting to see – 
if that can withhold with a new scheduling model and with no divisions, how that holds up. What's your sense? What's your gut on where that will head? Do, do you know? Is it too early to? No, I don't, I, I don't think. I think we all talked about it, but the yeah. seven one and six three, one of those two is probably going to come through. Yeah. And the six three holds the traditional rivals, more of them, but doesn't turn you over as fast. And seven one is is a great idea too. I think either way, it's going to be we're, we're probably going to keep uh, Florida. You know, Kirby, how do you feel about the whole where the world is with yeah. with the Texas and Oklahoma coming and USC and UCLA are going to the Big Ten and NAL is out of control at least from a legislature state to state standpoint. You like it? Is it is it hard? And I know a bunch a bunch of stuff in there together, but it's a different world in college football. It is, but the day to day operations haven't changed. I mean, the frustration I get is with um, kids making decisions based on you know who can give them the most money right now. That's not what it was meant to be. But outside of the conference stuff, I mean, the conference stuff doesn't affect us right now immediately. It's, it's out in the future. Um, you know, the game's a great game. And uh, it's probably never been viewed on TV as much as it is now. Now we're down in some attendance area, but I'm not. I'm not at concern about the SEC or about the game of football at our level. I am concerned about it at a lower level because it's getting tougher and tougher to manage. Kirby, we're wrapping up with Kirby Smith. Kirby, how cool is it to coach with one of your best buds, with Will, you and Will yeah. together, just coaching and being together again? It's great. You know, we don't spend a lot of time away from the office together, but there's a mutual respect there of. I trust and know that he's going to do the best job possible, and um, I value his work ethic. I mean, he's a guy that was a mentor to me, and to have him on my staff and, and be able to bounce ideas off of him and been the head coach two different places, he's done it all. I mean, he shoots ideas to me all the time, and I, I love it. I love the idea of knowing that he's got my back and I can rely on him to be there when, when needed. Final thing, how good is this football team? I mean, Everybody on that defense is in the NFL, and yet there's so many good defensive players left, and you do return your quarterback. But Georgia sends players to the NFL. That, 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 I mean, Georgia sends players to the NFL. How good is this football team? You know, I don't think we know that yet. Uh, I don't think I know that yet because uh, I don't know the identity and personality. I know what I saw this spring. We had a lot of guys out with injuries. Um, I've seen them work this summer, and I, I can't answer that question, but I'm excited as hell to watch them go play because they're hungry and there's a lot of dudes been waiting their turn. One final thing. I, I lied. One more. Uh, what is Jacksonville getting in Trayvon Walker? He seems to be Woo. a neat kid, boy. Man, what a <laughs> great kid. Phenomenal athlete, great family, humble beginnings. And you know what? This is a kid that the, the money is not going to change this kid. Like, he's not driven by that. He did, He's not driven to say, oh, well, I got all this money. That dude wants to work. I mean, leading up to the draft, I was I was watching out my window, and this is the two days and a day before the draft. He was out there working out, running, hitting sleds. Mm. And I'm like, man, he's getting ready for wherever he's going. You know, he, he, he loves the game. He's a competitor. And, you know, I think statistically you'll have to be careful because everybody will measure him by stats. What you won't ever measure on that kid is the heart and how hard he plays and how great a teammate he is. Kirby Smart, the Georgia football coach. Congratulations again, Kirby. What a great Thank season. You. Good luck this year.